Welcome to episode one of module six, genetic change, looking at the first inquiry question, how does mutation introduce new alleles into a population? Our syllabus reference for this video will look at a range of mutagens, such as electromagnetic radiation sources, chemicals, and naturally occurring mutagens, and compare the causes, processes, and effects of different types of mutations, including point mutations and chromosomal mutations. Our learn our learning intentions for this video will outline a range of mutagens that lead to changes in the DNA, outline the cause and effect of point mutations, including frame shift mutations, and outline the cause and effect of chromosomal mutations, including chromosomal number and chromosomal structure. A mutation is defined as a permanent change to the DNA sequence. Mutagens are agents that cause changes or mutations to the DNA sequence. These changes can be harmful or beneficial depending on the location of the mutation. Electromagnetic radiation and other forms of high ionization radiation are classified as physical mutagens. X-rays possess high ionizing energy due to their short wavelengths, which allows them to directly ionize DNA and generate reactive radicals. These radicals can cause insertion mutations altering the mRNA sequence or translocation mutations where segments of chromosomes are swapped. UV radiation acts as a mutagen by causing two adjacent thymine bases to form covalent bonds, resulting in thymine dimers. This prevents the thymine bases from pairing with adenine, distorting the DNA structure. Such damage can lead to uncontrollable cell growth and potentially cause melanoma. Chemical mutagens can insert themselves into DNA sequences, causing the DNA double helix to become distorted. During DNA replication, this distortion can lead to the wrong base being paired with its complementary base, or the chemical substance being mistaken for a base and incorporated into the DNA strand. Such changes in DNA can alter the function of proteins, impairing cellular processes. Examples of chemical mutagens include cigarette smoke, nitrate preservatives, and asbestos, which is a carcinogen. Naturally occurring mutagens can be biological or non-biological. Biological mutagens include mycotoxins produced by fungi and bacterial infections like Helicobacter pylori that can damage DNA and impair its repair mechanisms. Oncogenic viruses, such as certain strains of HPV, a biological carcinogen can cause errors in mitotic division, leading to uncontrollable cell division and cancer. Non-biological mutagens include metals such as mercury, lead and cadmium. Exposure to high and toxic levels of these metals can disrupt the complementary pairing of DNA bases. Point mutations are changes in a single nucleotide base pair in the DNA sequence. These mutations can have various effects on the genetic code and can be classified into different types based on their impact. Point mutations are often referred to as substitution mutations, and there are three types. Silent mutations. This is when the substitution of a base pair results in the same amino acid being coded for and therefore does not affect the formation of a protein. Missense mutations. A substitution of a base pair that results in a different amino acid being incorporated into the amino acid sequence. This can affect how the protein is formed. And nonsense mutations. A substitution that results in a stop codon presenting prematurely. This leads to the termination of the amino acid sequence early and can result in a protein not formed correctly or at all. In this first example, we can see the original mRNA is AAG that codes for lysine. In a silent mutation, the G is replaced with an A, but the codon sequence will still result in the amino acid lysine being produced. The second example shows a nonsense mutation. We can see that the A has been replaced with a U, resulting in the formation of an early stop codon. And this last example is of a missense mutation. The letter A has been replaced by a G, resulting in the coding for a different amino acid, that is, arginine. A single nucleotide base pair that is added to the DNA sequence can cause a frame shift mutation, 
if it occurs within the coding region of a gene. This changes the reading frame of the sequence, potentially altering every subsequent amino acid and resulting in a non-functional protein. A deletion is when a base pair is removed from the DNA sequence. This will also cause a frame shift mutation with similar disruptive effects on the protein. In this example, we can see that cytosine has been inserted into the DNA sequence. This has a knock-on effect in polypeptide synthesis, resulting in different amino acids being formed, resulting in a frame shift. In this example, we see that uracil has been deleted from the mRNA sequence. Just like with the insertion, this has a knock-on effect in polypeptide synthesis, whereby different amino acids are being produced, resulting in a frame shift. Chromosomal mutations can affect whole numbers of chromosomes or segments of chromosomes. The term aneuploidy refers to the addition or deletion of one or more whole chromosomes. Many disorders, such as trisomy 21, are the result of non-disjunction occurring in anaphase 2 of meiosis. This is when the chromosomes do not split properly. This will result in a sex cell having 24 chromosomes instead of 23. Other examples affecting 1 to 44 are trisomy 13 and trisomy 18. Sometimes aneuploidy can occur in sex chromosomes. For example, Turner syndrome is caused by the deletion of a sex chromosome in females so that there is only one X chromosome. Whereas Klinefelter syndrome, which occurs in males, results in an additional X chromosome. Pregnant women can opt for a non-invasive test referred to as the NIPT in week 10 of their pregnancy to determine if the fetus has an aneuploidy disorder. The test is considered to be 99% accurate. However, it is only a screening test and not a diagnostic test. Therefore, it can only determine if there is a low or high risk of an aneuploidy disorder. There are five types of structural mutations, deletion, duplication, inversion, substitution, and translocation. These are caused by changes to specific gene segments. An example of a disorder is Kreidershard syndrome. This is a rare genetic disorder caused by the deletion of genetic material on the short arm of chromosome five. The size of the deletion can vary and larger deletions tend to result in more severe symptoms. This deletion can occur spontaneously during the formation of the reproductive cells, sperm or egg, or early in fetal development. Most cases are not inherited and occur as random events. Another example is Pallister Killian syndrome, which is caused by the partial duplication of chromosome 12. And that is the end of episode one. Thank you for watching.